Okay, everybody. So um, one thing I wanted to talk about, which a question in class the other day was about transitions. Uh, so first of all, I just wanted to show how to do one of the basic sort of transitions, and especially if you're coming from another video editing program, uh, you know, uh, I, even iMovie uh, or any of these other programs, um, Final Cut, um, Premiere, um, they all use cr uh, cross dissolve in a way that's you know just by simply grabbing a, an object, cross dissolve object, and placing it between two clips. After Effects is a little bit different, and, and actually I think it's a little bit more versatile. But at any rate, the first thing you need to do is, uh, you know, if, you're, if your clips are all lined up perfectly like this, uh, you need to have some overlap to do a transition. So essentially what you're doing is you're kind of revealing from one part of the transition, uh, from one part of the clip to another part of the clip. So what you want to do is just kind of overlap these things a little bit. So take your staircase there and just kind of move it so that you have some space where the two are right on top of each other. And so um, the other thing that I you know do is you just zoom in a little bit so you can see better. You know, make that transition a little bit easier to see. Okay, so the next thing uh, I wanted to show was just how to, how to do this basic kind of cross dissolve. So first of all, uh, click on your top layer, and uh, all we need to do here is you know start where you you know the movie is uh, where they're where they're starting on top of one another. So this point where this one is directly on top of the beginning of this one, you know, maybe in just a little bit, and uh, we can add a keyframe there. What we want to do is just simply change the opacity. Okay, so click on keyframe opacity. Right now it's 100%. Uh, you know, what you what we can envision if, if this is overlapping the other one, you just take this and move this down. You see one is kind of fading into the next. That's the, that's the idea of the cross dissolve, is one dissolves into the other one. There's a bunch of ways to do this in After Effects, but um, this is a, you know, a pretty basic one, and, and you, you do have a bit of control with it. So uh, we start at 100%. We're going to move forward. The keyframe is on. We're going to move forward in the timeline. Um, and you know, let's say right to the end of here, uh, and uh, you know, get a little bit of space there. But then we just drop one in that uh, is zero. We bring this down to zero, and uh, there you go. There's your transition. So I play this out. You can see one is fading into the next, which is a nice, smooth kind of transition. Now, if you wanted it to happen sooner or faster, all you need to do is move these things around. You know, if you move this really close, you're going to have a fast you know, really fast kind of cross dissolve, right? So if we play this one now, you can see it's it's really fast. So if you drag it out farther, it's going to be slower. So, you know, and if you want to have it even longer, you can move your clips a little bit, you know, move these things back and forth, and then that will change how your cross dissolve works. So that's, that's basically it. That's the basic sort of cross dissolve. Now, there are other types of transitions that you can do too, and there's a whole whole bunch that we could talk about. I'm just going to talk about a couple of them. So we'll move a little bit over here and talk about you know this clip. Let's just move that in a little bit more there, and uh, zoom in a little, a little less. Okay, that's fine right there. So um, what you do here is again uh, click on the layer on top of what you want to sort of transition into. So I'm on this um, this movie that I created with the dynamics there. And uh, I'm going to transition to my still clip, which is over here. It's a still clip. And uh, what you can do is, you know, figure out where you want the transition to start. I'm say right about here where these things start crashing in. And then uh, here what you can do is um, just simply go up to effects, transition, and then there's a whole bunch of different types of things you can do, all kinds of crazy ones. Block dissolve. Uh, well, let's talk about this one first. So block dissolve, essentially what it's going to do when you when you... Uh, select that. It's just going to bring it over here. It shows you which effects you're using. And uh, what we want to do here is what you're going to keyframe then is the transition completion. All right. So what you can do is, you know, again, you can check this out. It's going to sort of gradient into that one. It's going to uh, dissolve essentially. You notice that it's, it, it's like all these little dots, right? And so, you know, if you like that effect, fine. If not, uh, you can kind of fuzz it out a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to go about halfway point. You can see half of one image, half of the other image, and it's kind of this kind of dot pattern, uh, which is okay, but I like it if it's a little softer. So I'm just going to go to feather. I'm going to kind of feather this in a little bit more. That way it's a little bit more of a blur. This is more like your cross dissolve. It's a little bit different, but it has that effect as well. So with that feather on, you look, you can go back and forth and you get this nice kind of transition. So that one's pretty easy. You know, so what we would do here is, um, again, you would uh, you know turn keyframe on, just click on keyframe. 
Uh, it's going to drop a keyframe in right there. And where you can see this would be go here, open this up, go to Facts, Block Dissolve, and then what we have here is the transition completion. So let's say you can click it there, you can see it down here. So, but there you can see the keyframe. So again, keyframes there, move forward in the timeline, and then <clears throat> uh, you know change this to 100%, right? From zero to 100%. And now we have uh, our transition. So if we play this through, we get that nice kind of dissolve, you know, into the next. I'm I'm pretty much, you know, uh, uh, I like a cross dissolve, a nice cross dissolve, or just a simple cut. I think those two are the most effective. Um, but there's other ones. If you if you want to explore other ones, we can check that out as well. So if you don't like this one, you know, you just click on here and delete it, and then it's gone. Um, so if we wanted to try out another one, we go up to effects and uh, again transition and uh, you know, let's see, um, like uh, light wipe. Let's see what that one does. So light wipe, right? We're gonna put this one on here, and again check out completion and do 100%. You see, this is gonna like, uh, you know blast a light source and then have this circle kind of enter in through here. So that, you know, maybe if, if that works for your scene, you know, that would be a part of it too. And the, the cool thing is you can just try these out, right? So you can just, you know, try this out. If you like it, fine. If not, just delete it and you can try something else. So there's a whole bunch of these transitions you can check out. I don't know what JAWS is. Let's see what JAWS is. Uh, Jaws, what's Jaws do? Oh, look at that, those teeth, mom, 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 there you go. So Jaws would transition with teeth opening up for the reveal of underneath. So again, you, you can keyframe those things, have those transitions in between. And again, as you're laying out your demo reel, think about what's gonna be an appropriate transition. Is it just a quick cut? Is it a cross dissolve? Is it gonna be some of these other um, you know, types of dissolves or, or wipes or um, transitions? So there it is, those are transitions in After Effects.